Hey, it's Monolito here, and today I'm smoking the Room 101 farce. Finally got my December cigarclub.com box in. Came in around the 5th of January, so it's a little bit later than normal. But I got three cigars that I've never had before. One, of course, that I'm going to be smoking today is the Room 101 Farce. Uh, then I have the San Cristobal Quintessence. Nice looking cigar. Never had it. And uh, then I have the Gurkha, and this is called the cask blend. So this is a, a Gordo 5.0 by 58. Um, the San Cristobal is a Robusto 5.5 by 50. And then the Farce is also a Robusto, which is a 5.0 by 52. So the cigarclub.com kind of stepped it up this month. Um, got a nice little card in here. Shows that Robin picked my cigars. And uh, give you a little information and, and thanking you for being uh, a member. Uh, also got a couple of little um, candies here. This says McCray's Single Malt Scotch. So I guess it's some kind of chocolate caramel thing with uh, single malt scotch. Either flavoring or maybe it actually has single malt scotch in it. That'd be nice to uh, to see. And then this time they've added these little cards, which is really pretty cool. So I'll start with the, the Room 101. So it gives you the little picture of the cigar, some information about it, even some tasting notes. And then here's the uh, San Cristobal. And then the Gurkha. So pretty nice. Nice surprise this month in the box. Hope they, uh, they keep that going. But... Enough about the uh, CigarClub.com box. Let's go ahead and uh, get into this cigar. So a little information on the cigar again before we get started. Um, and I'll put that up there just so you can get a good look at that. It is a Robusto 5.0 by 52. Um, set as a medium strength cigar, so we'll see. Origin is Honduras. Wrappers, uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut. Binder, filler, Honduras. And then there's some tasting notes there, which... Um, you know, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, red pepper. We'll see what uh, what I get out of this cigar. I'll put that away. Let's go ahead and get this thing cut up and lit. Nice draw on it. Not uh, not tight, not too too loose. The pack of it feels feels kind of tight. Um, I am smoking this straight from their package. Really like the band there. Focusing on that, kind of simple, but looks a little elegant. Nice little flower there, farce. Room 101. Alright, let's get this thing uh, lit up. I don't get... get kind of a milk chocolate on the pre-lit draw. Not much scent from the wrapper or the foot. That's fine. Let's light it up. Oh, it is pretty peppery on the light up. Pepper and oak is what I'm getting. So it's uh, 2.30 in the afternoon here. It's about 47 degrees today. 
Uh, it's a nice sunny day, a little bit of a breeze. Um, so we'll uh, go through the first third here, uh, get some notes, and then I'll uh, come back. Thirty-five minutes in, about done with the first third. Burn is not too bad. I did have to touch it up three times. It started tunneling, um, so basically the it's like the wrapper is not wanting to stay lit. Uh, this is for me. It's a pepper bomb. So this thing is pepper on the draw pepper on the retro hill and it's it's red pepper not like a red bell pepper like a spicy pepper so this is a pretty spicy cigar it's not bad though um it's not uh it's not burning me on the retro hill but i do feel that that red pepper um still a little oaky woody uh type notes i'm not getting anything there's no kind of sweetness on this it's drying it's drying out my mouth so I do have to uh, sip on water, uh, you know, every every now and then, just to um, just to wet the palate. But uh, it's not a terrible cigar, um, and uh, I would agree that it's a medium strength. I do feel it a little bit, you know, not uh, not overpowering, not uh, making me sick or anything. But I do feel that that nicotine buzz coming on. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, get through the second third. So I'll come back around the end of the second third, beginning of the final third, and uh, see what else we get out of this cigar. All right, so we're about at the, uh, the end of the second third, getting into the final third. Ash started getting flaky, dropping off, so not holding on like it did in the first third finish um it's a medium to long finish kind of oaky uh, finish and starting to get uh bitter but the bitterness isn't bad yet so we'll we'll continue on into the uh into the final third um i didn't mention this before the msrp on this stick is about ten dollars uh, not a bad stick um i also get a little bit of uh black coffee on the draw the pepper is still there this is just a peppery stick here, uh, red pepper. Um, still dry, so, you know, I'm uh, regularly, it's not like I'm drawing and then drinking water, drawing, drinking water, but after a few puffs off of this, uh, I do have to drink a little bit of water because it's drying my mouth out. Um, and smoke output, yeah. So it's been pretty good throughout the whole stick, so pretty decent smoke output. And I did have to touch it up uh, three or four more times during the second third. So we'll see how this uh, finishes up. And it's, uh, so we're about, it was about 2.30 when I started. So we're about an hour and 10 minutes in to this stick. So it's smoking pretty slow. So we'll see uh, how much more I'll smoke with this. Okay, so this is the end, hour and 27 minutes. So this is what we have here. Um, not a bad stick. So again, total smoke time, hour and 27 minutes. It's getting um, bitter, so I'm gonna stop while it's, uh, while it's still somewhat enjoyable. I wouldn't go out and look for this stick but if someone offered it to me or if it was given to me, uh, I would smoke it. Um, flavors didn't change. Had a couple more burn touch-ups. Mainly the, most of the burn touch-ups were just to, to kind of keep the, uh, the wrapper caught up with the, the filler and the binder. Uh, it kept tunneling. Um, but yeah, not a bad stick. Thanks for watching.